But right, I'll finish with one more song. Exploring, continuing our theme of the common themes of folk song. We're on to shopping now, right? So here's a folk song about shopping. And it's about Aldi, right? We passed Aldi on the way up here, right? Well, we've got Aldi where we live. And we also have another one called Lidl. And they're both very much the same, you know? They discount supermarkets from Germany. And they're very good, you know, you get nice fruit and veg, you get nice packets of biscuits that look like the other people's biscuits, got a different label on it, you know, and it's cheaper. But what is special about them, as you know, as the fellas know, is the centre aisle, the weekly specials, right? And, um, you know, and uh, yeah, it's not like 10 cents off biscuits specials. I mean, these are specials like art welding equipment, you know, and rubber dinghies and things, you know. <laughs> Grappling hooks and anchors and stuff like this you get, you know, ours anyway, you got all kinds of neat stuff like that. So naturally, all us blokes take a great interest, all us blokes that like to go to Bunnings of a Saturday afternoon just to check it out, you know. So we all, so we all go to Lidl and Aldi just to see what's there. And even if we don't need it, we buy it because it's really cheap. You know, you know. What are we going to do with an art welder? I don't know, but you know, it's great. Look, it was only $25. But anyway, so here's a song written by a man called Mickey McConnell, who is, who is a, a soulmate of mine in that he's very fond of shopping in Little and Aldi as well. So it's a Little and Aldi song. That's a wee bit that you can join in. And thanks very much again for coming. I really appreciate it. And thanks to Wayne and Guile for, for this place. And thanks to Kazu and Mark for opening up. And here's the little Analdi song. <clears throat> well, the wife, she broke her ankle after tumbling off to the bike, leaving me to do the housework, a job I never liked. And doing the weekly shopping seemed an awful chore to me, till I discovered little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little dee dee. <laughs> That's your bit, by the way, little de Aldi. Now I just can't wait for Thursdays when the specials go on view. I'm the first man to the trolley, I'm the first man in the queue. And now I know what people mean by retail therapy. Thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de he. Well, there's angle grinders and black puddings and a pot of German jam. A lump of hairy bacon and a wetsuit from Japan. A pack of streaky rashers and a crate of Russian stout and a portable generator just in case the lights go out. There's alloy wheels and windscreen wipers and a bag of rooster spuds, an inflatable rubber dinghy to help survive the floods, spanner sausages, fish fingers. They're so cheap they're damn near free at little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de D. Now there's welding rods and fine organic beef to make a hearty stew. A walking pole and spiky boots for climbing Kathmandu. Great heads of curly cabbage to make you eat your fill. Sledgehammers and bananas and a lovely cordless drill. And there's hatchets and hamburgers and there's tins of beans and peas. A petrol driven train saw for cutting bits off trees. <laughs> Sabre saws and sausages, computers and TVs. At little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi. Now the wife has gone ballistic. Marriage heading for the rocks, with her crutches and her shopping bag, she's hobbling round the shops, and she's cut off all me credit cards. I'm sad as sad can be, thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi. Well, the house is full of plastic shite I really didn't want, and the garden's full of furniture, and the shed is full of plants, and I'm living in the doghouse. Rover Fido Shep and me, thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi. So no more angle grinders, no black puddings, no more pots of German jam, no lumps of hairy bacon, no more wetsuits from Japan, no packs of streaky rashers, and I'll have to do without a portable generator just in case the lights go out, no alloy wheels, no windscreen wipers, no more bags of rooster spuds, no inflatable rubber dinghies to help survive the floods, for I'm living in the doghouse, and I'm sad as sad can be. Thanks to Aldi, little de Aldi, little de Aldi, 